Here's another special case. When you have these less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than, greater than signs, you do nearly everything the same as the way you do it when you have an equal sign. But there is one exception that you have to know about. In this situation, my x is being multiplied by a minus 3. So I will divide both sides of the equation by minus 3. These will cancel. My x is now isolated, and 21 divided by negative 3 is negative 7. The trick is that because I divided both sides by a negative number, this sign has to turn backwards. It becomes a greater than or equal to sign. Here's another example. My y is being multiplied by negative 4. I divide both sides by negative 4. These cancel. Y is isolated. Negative 16 divided by negative 4 is positive 4. But I have to turn this sign backwards because I divided both sides of the equation by a negative number. Here, my x is being multiplied by a 2. I have to divide both sides of the equation by 2. The 2's cancel. My x is isolated. 8 divided by 2 is 4. But because 2 is not a negative number, I do not turn the sign backwards. I keep it the way it is. Here, my x is being multiplied by a 4. I divide both sides by 4. The 4 is cancelled here. x is isolated. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. But because I divided both sides by a positive number, I keep the symbol the way it's facing. Whenever you divide both sides of an equation by a negative number, you must flip the symbol backwards. And whenever you divide both sides of an equation by a positive number, you leave the symbol facing the way it already is. And now we have a very similar set of circumstances. Here my x is being divided by negative 3. So I have to multiply both sides by negative 3 so that these will cancel. And my x is isolated. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. But because I multiply both sides by a negative number, I have to flip the symbol backwards. So it works with the same rule as division. Here my x is being divided by 4. I must multiply both sides by 4 in order to cancel these and isolate my x. 2 times 4 is 8. But this time, I'm, this time I multiply both sides by a positive number. So therefore, the symbol stays the same. Example 3. y is being divided by 2. I multiply both sides by 2. These 2's cancel. y is isolated. 7 times 2 is 14. Because I multiply both sides by a positive number, I leave the symbol the way it already is. Here, my m is being divided by negative 5. I have to multiply both sides by negative 5. These five negative 5's cancel. My m is isolated. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. But because I multiply both sides of the equation by a negative number, the symbol has to flip backwards. So now we can restate the rule more exactly. If you divide or multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must flip the inequality symbol backwards. But if you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a positive number, you leave the symbol alone. Now that you've learned some of the basic skills of algebra, it's time to do an exercise sheet in order to practice what you've learned. Once you finish the exercise sheet, correct your own work with the answer sheet.